news you can use today. Today's news, very interesting. It was kind of something that we talked about late last year as a possibility that is now coming to fruition. It's a very interesting development. Last night, late last night on CNBC, they put out an article based on research that they had gathered over the last week or two. And what they have found in the housing market is that rental houses and even apartments are the hottest thing since sliced bread. These, uh, these units are often bringing multiple offers at and above rental requested prices, including some people offering to pay for a full year, or up to a full year in advance, just to get into a rental unit. Now we expect that number uh, to continue to increase, the number of people wanting to do this, but whereas a couple of months ago, there was bidding wars for a lot of these properties, now there are bidding wars to rent those same properties. And you're going to see that because people, as we've been talking about all along, have been saving their money by not paying their landlords. And now they've got a ton of money to spend and they can't find housing. So there are, on average, it's said over the last 30 days, for every rental unit, there are 12 people uh, making an application to get into these rental units. So just in the last year, a year over year basis, it went up about 10%. Prices have gone up about 10% on the average house, uh, about 8% on the average two bedroom apartment, about 7% on the average one bedroom apartment. So they expect during the month of August that that number is gonna increase. So in other words, the year over year could be 15% from what it was a year ago. Um, vacancies are filling up uh, you know, with, with, with people getting into these housing units. Uh, the number of vacancies is decreasing. And like I said, you've got a number of people offering above the asking price on a rental house and a rental apartment. It's just a bizarre thing. It's kind of like irrational exuberance where everybody is out there trying to just get into some place to live. Uh, a lot of people stayed where they were during COVID um, and they stayed stacked on top of each other. And in the case of some of these folks that, as we've talked, live in cities. They want to move to suburbia, but even in places like San Francisco, the year-over-year -year rental rate was up 76% during the month of July, same month last year. So it's a, it's a bizarre deal. Um, it is a great time to be in our business because you have a number of options that dovetail right into that demand, the biggest of which is a lease option property. So if you're buying subject to or you're buying on a lease option you can definitely lease option a property out what we're seeing today and what i would expect that you guys will see going forward is multiple bidders to get into a lease option property and some of them will have a significant amount of money no longer this just three to five thousand dollar deal people are putting ten twenty thirty thousand dollars down on a lease option property if you're in the rental fleet business in other words you want to get a property subject to and stick it into your rental fleet, it's the same thing. You're gonna have multiple higher quality tenants. Uh, one of the other things that they noticed is for all the rental apps that were submitted that were reported on a national basis during the month of July, the average credit standing and the average cash on hand were both up significantly from a year before. So you're getting a higher quality, better tenant. Now, these may be people who had a really good uh, ability to make payments, but because the government did what it did and said you, you can't be evicted, a lot of these guys just didn't make payments. They didn't need to, they did not need to, but they did and they took advantage of that situation. So you will see people, and I would be very careful when you screen them, but have great credit, have a lot of money down and want to get into your rental unit. So it's a good time to be in the, in the rental business, whether it's a lease option, rent to own, or just a rental property, um, less so much as we've talked for the last three or four weeks to be in the flip business. So it's a it's a good time. We're also seeing, and if uh, if Brandy's on here, we'll have her talk about it a little bit later. We're seeing a lot of people who are just throwing their homes over the back fence, saying we're done, take them, subject to you can have it. Got equity, don't got equity, doesn't matter. People are just like, I, I want to be out of this thing. I want to be done. I want to be gone. And that's also a good thing. So I've, I think I've talked about this before, but only in 2006 for a short period of time that I see this market where there was a lot of sellers and a lot of buyers. 
and now we have a lot of renters and there wasn't even a lot of renters then. So this is really like a triple witching hour for us. This is really a perfect storm. And I would strongly encourage everybody to make hay while the sun shine. Uh, in other words, get out there and work as hard as you can as soon as possible, because this is a generational shift in wealth. It can go from someone else's pocket to yours if you know what to do. So we're here every day. You guys can ask any question you want, and we'll help you get these things tied down. We do this exact same business that you do, and we do it on a daily basis. We use the same scripts. We use the same contracts. We use the same everything that I'm teaching you is the same thing I teach our acquisitionists and dispo people. It's the exact same thing they work under. So take advantage of it and uh, go out there and get you some of that big old slice of American pie.